How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another What I'm Liking and Not So Much segment. And I do have another special guest with me today. So if you guys would like to stick around and see what I'm liking and maybe not liking, and who my special guest is, keep on watching. Okay, so today my special guest is uh, Flory Sparks, and actually how I got to meet her was from the MAB group, which was the uh, middle-aged uh, beauties group that I belong to. I don't belong to them anymore, but I still am very close uh, friends with them, and I am in their group on Facebook, which I will put a link to that down below if you guys are interested in joining the rest of us ladies and gents on there and, you know, just talk about beauty and just different things in the beauty world. So I'll put a link down below to that. But Flory, I really enjoy her. She just has this wonderful bubbly uh, sense to her. She's very kind. She's always thinking of everybody. She just kind of uh, brings that little extra something, maybe even if you're just having one of them days where things aren't going so well. And, you know, if I see one of hers in my feed or something like that, her videos, and I watch her, you know, I'll have to sit there and smile and she'll kind of bring me, sometimes snap me out of it a little bit or just make me forget everything. I think that's the one thing on here on YouTube that I really enjoy is sometimes if you're just having one of those days, it can make you, you know, forget what maybe kind of a crappy day you had or, or bad news or something like that. Please go check her out. Show her some love and subscribe if you like. You will not be disappointed. One thing I will say real quick before I forget is she is into a lot of uh, nail care, like nail polishes and stuff. So if that is your thing, you will really enjoy watching her with some of her, because she has nail polishes, like companies I've never even heard of before. And uh, her collection's pretty, pretty out there. So yeah, go and check her out. I do want to say on here too, I had um, almost had a situation where I probably wasn't going to be filming for a while. I didn't know what was going to be an outcome of things. Um, if some of you guys are on my Facebook page, then you already know my daughter's boyfriend, who I pretty much consider my son-in-law at this point because they've been together for almost eight years now, maybe even 10 years. They've been together for a very long time. And he's a big part, you know, in her life and everything. And they do have a child together. You know, of course, they live together and everything. But he was in a really, really bad accident. And uh, the road that he was on, um, most of the time, these accidents turn out fatal. Like, you know, they don't survive. And he was just coming home from work. And his um, half-brother was with him in the car. They worked together. And uh, some woman had come along and crossed the path, and they they did hit head on. And yeah, I was babysitting my little my little peanut, my little granddaughter, when I found this out. Uh, a gentleman had come to my door and told me because uh, my daughter got word of it, and she needed to contact her boss. And we really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was going to be a situation that wasn't going to be pretty, put it that way. They did both have to get surgery done. Ended up in the Pittsburgh hospital, which I knew had to be serious as they ended up in the Pittsburgh hospital because um, that's like 45 minutes away from me. And so I knew it had to be pretty serious. He, his neck was ended up being broke. A bone was broken in his neck and his uh, toe was dislocated. The brake kind of went through his foot, his brake or something. He had to get surgery on his foot and his neck and everything. And then uh, the other, his uh, half-brother, had to get surgery on his arm. I won't discuss the grossness of that because I know pretty much what happened with his arm. And then also a collapsed lung. And so they had to all get surgery. At this point, while I'm recording this, I think uh, my son-in-law will be home, hopefully, and uh, get on to recuperating. So that was definitely a horrible not like this week. And uh, I just, I 
seriously thought I was going to have the same fate that my mom had where she had to tell my sister, her daughter, that her husband was killed in an accident. My son-in-law and I think the other guy, they weren't wearing seatbelts. It was the airbag that we believe pretty much saved him because I do believe it would have been more fatal, which, yeah, he has a lot of marks and cuts and stuff on his face, but I I don't even know if I would have been feeling today. So, but prayers, positive thoughts, whatever, you know, you guys, um, <clears throat> whatever your faith is and what you believe in uh, is greatly appreciated being sent this way. So let's get started into uh, my likes and not likes. So uh, skincare, we'll go into skincare. I don't, oh yes, no, I do have one hair care product here, which I was really liking because after I colored my hair, um, they give this to you in the kit and it's the uh, Claro Expert Pro-V Age Defy uh, Pantene Pro-V Color Seal Conditioning uh, Therapy. This is a really nice product that they put in that box, in your hair coloring box. Really great deep conditioner. I really wish they would make this a bigger size and a permanent thing. I have a little scent here. I haven't used it for a while and I pulled it out. I have just like a little mini deluxe of, it's the Ed Hardy uh, Villain. It's the Villain um, from Ed Hardy. So yeah, this is a really nice perfume. I like some of Ed Hardy's perfumes too. Here is the Shea Sugar Scrub, the Pomegranate uh, Aquai from Tree Hut. You guys know how much I love the Tree Hut body scrubs. These are some of the best body scrubs that I, I use. And you can a lot of times get them in Ulta, like where you buy one, get 50% off, buy so many and get one free or something. That's when I take advantage of it. And I still have like, I think one or two full size uh, left of different scents. Uh, skincare. I have shared this different times on here, but it is a really good, I think it's considered a, a serum. Yes. It's the uh, Danielle LaRoche plant stem cells firming face serum and i got mine actually in ross if i go into ross i will look to see if they have any more of these because i really like this it's a i'll put a little bit on my finger it almost looks like a little bit of a moisturizer instead of a serum it has a more moisturizing feeling to it uh, but it's one of the ones once you put it on and rub it on, it feels really nice and soft and it melts and sinks right into the skin and I love it. I It will de definitely be a repurchase. In my BoxyCharm, if you've seen my recent past video here, we did get the Dr. Brandt micro, micro dermabrasion age defying exfoliator. This is really nice. I used it uh, once so far, but from just that one time, I can tell you it reminds me it reminds me of the So Health uh, Dr. Uh, Zenobaji um, skin polishing product that I have. Only this one would really be good for all skin types. Little uh, beads and the little scrubbies in there aren't very harsh. Like they're they're noticeable, but not. It's it's more. I think it's more suitable for somebody that like if you are somebody with sensitive skin. Definitely, I think this would work for you. And then speaking from uh, uh, Zen, this is from Zoe Medical by Zen Abaji. And this is the Bright Next Skin Brightener and Corrector Cream. Uh, it's five, it's 0.5% retinol. And this you have to be careful with, like when you gradually work into it, because depending on how sensitive your skin is and everything, you might see some dryness and some peeling. It does say that on here to start just very little, just gradually. It does have, it looks almost of an orange color, if you can see that. It's really nice, really, really nice. It just sinks in and it kind of gives a glowness, like a nice glowness to your skin. So I'm really liking, really liking that. I think you can, yeah, you can smell in that a little more of the medicine, like a medicine scent to it. Probably did see me demonstrate these sponges um, and everything, you know, like when I was putting on some of my foundation. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not really liking the little one so much. I feel like it's 
you know, it's the same shape, same thing. And I feel like I could do the same with this. You know, it's, it's a little bit smaller and maybe you can get in some of the corners, but I don't see the purpose of having both of them in there. Uh, I haven't tried the smaller ones. What are they from? Well, I haven't tried any of the beauty blenders. It's not terrible, terrible, because some people might really like it. It's just a little awkward for me to work around for my eye area. And I find just... I'm somebody that just that uses my fingers. I'm just gonna be honest. I use my ring fingers. I think that works just as great. But this one I really like for my foundation and applying it on. And like I said, I, you do have the same kind of corner. So if I had to and I wanted to, I feel like I could use this there just a little bit and then take my ring finger and work just a little bit in the corner. I think I think you still have to get both of these together. And that's kind of a shame. So I might have to make this work in some conjunction with things. And then this I'm really liking. It's the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. This smells really good. And it's a spray. And I was using it on a couple of my brushes already, which, you know, when you order from ColourPop, if you have ordered from ColourPop or anything, probably any box might have some of these. But you get this little, you get the, the foamy stuff in there. And it's packaged in there real nice and neat if you get you know if you especially if you get the color pop you know what i'm talking about but you know like a foam and it's pretty thick this is what i use a lot of times when i'm going in between doing my eyes and i'll swirl the brush on here and clean the brush off in between when i'm doing my eyes and that's what i actually used even when i was cleaning off some of my brushes with this spray is I'd spray on it and then just rub along on here and it, it works really good. So save these guys, save these, you know, cause it works just as good. You could, even if you wanted to cut a piece and put it in uh, some form of a box or another tin or something. Cause I know they have them tins that you can get where you clean off your brushes and you know, in between times. But if you have these and they're coming in your box, and you're getting the color pop or anything like that, save them. Now, speaking of brushes, I have a couple brushes here I'm actually really liking. Uh, one is my fan brush that I got in my BoxyCharm. And I've never used fan brushes that much or never tried to use a fan brush, but I do like it. I like the whole concept. I do get it. I like uh, how it dispenses the highlighter. It doesn't get on there as because I did have another brush that I was using. All my brushes are back behind me right now. But I did have another brush that I was using, and it's good. It's a good one. It was a Japanese one or something. But I like the fan brush. This also came in my boxy charm. And I think you guys are not going to be surprised. This is the precise um, eye pencil that I got. It's from the Royal and Lankel, uh collection. This is in more of a rose gold. But oh my goodness, this gets right precise under my eye and I am loving this. This is very dense, a very nice dense stiffer brush that really works better there for me and love it. And this is my Tarte brush that came with my uh, blush palette from a couple years ago and I think it was QVC. I think QVC is where you could get the brush actually but I love these Tarte blush brushes like this because they get I'll always start right here and then work and like do a circular thing and it these just work really great for me now you did see me demonstrate this and this is the wet n wild photo focus foundation mine's in buff bisque this is a really good foundation guys the only thing I noticed for me and you're talking I am combination to dry skin this did get a little bit greasy, oily at some point in the T-zone areas like you do, which that's not a deal breaker for me because most foundations or mostly all foundations do do that. You do get that and you do have to do a little touch up, but I'm just pointing that out because I am combination to dry. So if you are somebody with oily skin, um, you know, that might might pose a little bit of a problem for you. I like this one so much better than the coverall. I had the coverall this is a really good one. My lipstick on my lips today and I'm really loving it is 770 Mauve It in the Maybelline line. So this is 770 Mauve It and it's I think it's more the um yeah this is more in that blue is it a blue blue color the tube this isn't purple I know they have some that are purple this is more like a a blue shade it's a really really pretty color. I like it. There it is right there. It's really pretty. This part of here, I'm not sure if I'm really liking it. It's kind of, 
I like it, but I don't. It's the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Prismatic Highlighter Iridescent Pearl Powder. I'll show you the back of it here. And you might have already seen, because like Hard Candy is coming out with a lot of different things. There it is. It kicks up a lot of product. Not sure if you can see that on the camera or not. It's it's beautiful. The color is like a beautiful, beautiful uh, purple. It shifts. It's but the thing is, and if you can see there, I don't know if you can. It has glitter specks glitter uh, whatever in it you look in the pan like when I'm looking at it I didn't see that you know I didn't see it in the pan oh, I know what it reminds me of if you ever seen um, the shade monster from Colourpop if you've ever seen the highlighter monster that's what this has it has that same iridescence coloring to it even now like for me right here I'm not sure if you can see, but I can see them. So I don't recommend this uh, if you're somebody that, you know, yeah, you don't want no glitter anywhere on your eyes, face, or you're just, no. Yeah, definitely not this. Um, if you're somebody that likes some glitter, you know, because I, I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter how old you are. If you love glitter and you're 80, glitter yourself. I don't, I don't, that shouldn't matter. For me, this isn't panning out, so probably see me. I got my Z palette and I was so excited because I haven't had a Z palette so I could finally and you could pretty much see my color scheme here. I don't know if my lighting is going to do justice or not but I have like a lot of peaches and purples and plums and taupes and everything in, in this palette and I am loving the cherry cola shade which that's here that's what came in my boxy charm that's that brownish um, red color I'm really liking that. And then uh, Prom Night, which that's this one in the middle here, right there. And that's more of a taupe shade. Those are the two colors that came in my BoxyCharm. Right there they are. And those are really pretty shades. And I do have my Cosmopolitan there. That is such a pretty make. These are all Makeup Geek, by the way. That's uh, Cosmopolitan. That's another favorite shade of mine right there. I love that shade. So this was sent to me from Shauna. Um, mm, what is her? I you know I do this every time with her channel. Love my makeup, something makeup. I'll put a link to her channel down below. And she had sent me this because this I didn't have. I just mentioned, oh, you know, I'd love to get this one day. And then all of a sudden she said, well, hey, I don't even use mine. Do you want it? It's like, what? You know, like I was. I was just like, yeah, okay. And she had sent me this plus a couple other goodies. And that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And I'm loving, loving this. This is very flattering on my eyes. These are really pretty colors. And this is the unzipped gold. So I have unpredictable on my eyes right now. That's this shade right here that's called unpredictable. I have that on my eyelid right there. Sorry guys, I'm honestly not flipping you off by no means. But right there, right there it is. Really, really pretty. I have undeniable, which is a matte, and then this darker in the outer V, it's um, called unedited. I have those. Oh, and then I put um, undressed all over on my eyelid. It's a matte. It's like a nice white, like a cream color. Yeah, cream colored. And guys, can I just say also, because speaking of Sean, Shauna, and I didn't know this, I just emailed her just the other day because uh, I was I haven't seen her for a while. I haven't seen her on her channel for a while. Please pray for her and her family because... I guess her house caught fire and they've been living in a hotel for a while and their house is getting, I think, rebuilt as from what I understood. I think they will be getting out of the hotel and living in a little bit of a more a home kind of atmosphere. But yeah, they, they got a long road ahead. I could send her some prayers to guys and some really good positive, you know, vibe and everything. 
uh, please do. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate that. Please do not forget to go check out Flurry and uh, Flur Flurry. I was going to call her Flurry because we do we. I'm from near Pittsburgh and we have a goaltender named Flurry. So that pops my head sometimes. But Flurry. Please go check out Flory Sparks, and like I said, I'll have a link down below to her channel, and to her video and everything, so please go and check her out, and uh, if you did come from uh, Flory's uh, channel, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that, and hope you come and join me each week. There is the subscribe button down below. You can go ahead and click it, as well as hit the bell button, because that will notify you of when my new videos will be. Uh, uploaded. So yeah, I would so love to have you. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love that so much. I'd appreciate that very much. And like I said, just puts a smile on my face. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.